Hey guys, it's Arika Misha in the kitchen getting ready to cook up Sunday's best. And today we got some New York style steaks and we got some lobster meat. Oh yes, gonna make a nice little cute little quick meal for Sunday. Y'all know I get y'all in and out of the kitchen. So let's go ahead and get into this meal. I do have some white rice on the stove cooking right now, but I ain't gonna show y'all that. That's just plain white rice. I just want the focus to be on these steaks and this lobster meat. Let's get the cooking. Let me give y'all a close up. First of all, y'all know how I do. All right, look at that lobster meat. Oh yeah, y'all better go check that out. I found that at Publix. It's a little secret they be hiding. Nice little uh, bag of lobster meat. It's like little mini lobster tails. I've shown y'all on the channel before. About $12. That's a steal. Because y'all know it's about 7 or $10 just for one little lobster tail. Whole bag of baby lobster tails right there. $12 at Publix. All right, and we got the New York steaks. Oh, yeah, we got them stacked up, baby. And y'all know they've been seasoned and marinated overnight. Oh, look at all that goodness. Oh, yeah, we, I'm ready to cook those up. So, all right, y'all, I'll be back to show y'all how I'm going to be cooking them up. All right, guys, I'm back, ready to get this lobster meat grilled up. And as you guys can see, the lobster meat is already cooked. So we're not cooking it. I'm just, you know, sauteing it in some butter. I just put a little uh, tablespoon of butter in my pan, waiting on that to melt. We're just going to spread that around our pan like that. It ain't got to melt. It ain't got to melt all the way because I need some butter to blend in with this lobster meat. So let's get our lobster meat dumped in. And I love this lobster meat. It is so good. It tastes so fresh. You know what? Let me zoom y'all in. Now my lobster meat, I did season it already. Um, however you want to season your lobster meat, I did season. Let me take y'all in real good. I did season it up. Um, I did some Old Bay, onion, garlic. Uh, I did all of that good stuff on there. And give me one second, y'all. I do want to drop... Hold on, y'all. Uh-oh. Hold on, y'all. I do want to drop some garlic. All right. I do want to drop some garlic in here. All right. And uh, I like using this uh, Spice World already, you know, minced garlic already. I love using this. I'm going to drop a little bit in our pan. Let me cut this down. I want to put it on a low heat. It's already cooked. We're not trying to cook it. Just put a little bit of garlic in there. Now they also have, Spice World now has the uh, easy uh, onions. So they've got the onions too. I was glad to find that. You know, for people like me who don't like chopping up onions and chopping up the garlic. And so yeah, we got some garlic in here with this lobster meat. Just gonna saute it on a low heat. Easy peasy. Get that garlic all mixed up real good. We already got our butter. And like I said, my meat's already seasoned, so I did a little paprika, I did a little old bay. Y'all know what I say about that old bay. He an old bay child. I don't know about it, won't him. Uh, so I got a little Old Bay, I got uh, onion, a little salt, uh, what else I got? Just season your meat how you want to season it. So, just getting that garlic and everything else mixed up. And like I said, the lobster meat is already cooked, so, and I already seasoned it, so, just mixing that up. And I'm just going to let that. Simmer itself down and leave it on a little low heat like that. And I can put my top over it like that. And just leave that to cook. Well, not really cook, but you know, just get itself where it needs to get. For about like, you know what, about 10 minutes. So that the garlic and the butter and all the seasons, you know, cook up in our lobster uh, meat. And that's it. Simple and easy for that lobster meat. Like I told you guys, this is a quick steak and lobster meal. And whatever you want to fix, uh, you know, I got the white rice. I also have the, um, let me show you guys. I also have the Mission Flour Tortillas. These are my favorite. The Mission Flour Tortillas. Hold on, let me back y'all up. 
Hold on. I also have these, the Mission Flower Tortillas for the girls, like if they want to cut their steak up, you know, make like a little uh, burrito or a little soft taco with their steak and rice and lobster meat, you know, however they want to do it. We have options. We have options. I love having options. So, um, yeah, so that's it for our lobster meat, quick and easy. Um, now we're gonna move on to the steaks. I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna cook those. Um, I do have my skillet over there, as you guys can see. Uh, my rice is back there in that pot. My white rice is already ready already. Y'all know I do that quick five minute rice. Um, I've got my skillet over here ready. I'm gonna go ahead. I'll show you guys how I'm gonna do my uh, steak I'm gonna put them in the skillet on top of the stove brown them and then I'm gonna put them in the oven to finish cooking uh, So all right, let's move on to the steaks All right guys, we are back. I'm ready to go ahead and get my steak prepared So I've got a little butter in my pan a Little butter in here. I'm gonna go ahead and get these steaks uh, browned on both sides, on all sides. Alright. I think I can only fit about two. Yeah, I can only fit two. So, one of our steaks. Two steaks. We got our steaks in here. And as you guys see, I already had the butter in there. Let me bring you guys in. Something quick and easy, guys. These steaks are thick, but they're not that thick. So, like I told you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and brown them on both sides. And then I'm going to stick them back in my skillet. I'm gonna cover this skillet with a little more You'll see. And then I'm gonna put them back in the oven. I'm gonna put them in the oven so the oven can finish slowly cooking. This is so that I have nice, fully cooked, we don't like um, the rare, medium rare, we like our meat fully cooked. So, um, that way I'm gonna cover it with aluminum foil, stick it in the oven. Y'all will see, you all will see how I'm gonna do it with the New York steaks. All right. And y'all know the skillet, the skillet gets hot. See, did not take long, did not take that steak long at all to get brown. I'm gonna let it brown a little bit more. Yeah, I'm gonna let it brown a little bit more. And I do have my onion and garlic, of course. I'm gonna drop all that in here. Right now, I'm just trying to get them browned. Oh, it smells so good. And of course, I tenderized my steak. I did all that good stuff, so they're gonna be nice and juicy. Oh, so good. So, so good. Mm, 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 mm. I could just cook them in the pan here. I could just do that. But today I want to do it where I just brown the outside and then just put them in the oven to finish cooking all the way. That way I get a nice juicy steak. Let me go ahead and get a little bit more butter in my pan. I'm just gonna show y'all me doing the first, you know, two steaks. Get some garlic in here. I just put my garlic right there in the middle. Get my onion in there. All right, we got our garlic and onion in there. That's smelling real good.
to the other side. Make sure that other side gets some garlic and butter and some onion. Smells so good, y'all. So good. Mm, 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 mm. So good. And you know what's gonna make my steak taste even better? These steaks were on sale. Mm, mm, mm. Nothing like good food on sale. Yes. And before I forget to mention, make sure you guys go in my description box and you'll see the link to my spiritual journey channel there. You can click on that link. It'll take you over to my spiritual channel. Uh, so you guys can go ahead and join me on my spiritual journey over there. Oh yeah. We are cooking these up. Mm. Ooh, they're going to be so good. Now, I've already got my oven preheated at 350 degrees. Already preheated. So good. Alright, so. Y'all see how I'm doing that. Just going to go ahead and get these uh, browned on both sides. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and cook the oven too. So, and then I'll be back to show you guys how I'm going to prep them to put them in the oven. Okay, guys, I'm back. And as you can see, I've got the last two steaks uh, nice and cooked on the outside, nice and brown. We pretty much almost cooked all the way through. That's what I did. But that center still needs to be cooked. And I'm going to go ahead and put it in the oven so we can slowly finish cooking. And that'll help my steak stay nice and juicy. So, I'm going to keep y'all zoomed in. Let me show y'all how I'm going to do this. I've already turned the eye off. So, I'm going to go ahead. All right, and I just flip these. So, let me rotate these again. All right, go ahead and get my other two steaks in here. So we've got our other two steaks in there. I think I'm gonna break this little piece off so it's not sticking out. More like so I can sample it. Yeah, let me, let me see how that's tasting. Cause it's done. Oh my God, that is amazing. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, all right, so. That's real good. Okay, huh. All right, so. Y'all see how I got them in there, right? Hot. So, I'm gonna take my aluminum foil. Y'all know this skillet hot, so just gonna put my aluminum foil around it like this. Hot, hot, hot. Just wanna cover it up. You know what? Let me get my gloves. Let me get my cooking gloves because I do want to seal this all the way. All right, let me back y'all out so y'all can see what I'm doing. Oh, stop it, light. Okay, anyway. So, this way I can seal this real good. So those steaks can cook real good in there. Nice and sealed. Okay, so my steak. My heat stays in there. So y'all see how I sealed that up real good. Make sure it's nice and sealed around those edges. So my heat can stay in there. All right. That's how we doing it. And I'm going to go ahead and put that in the oven. I think I'm going to put it in the oven because there's only a little bit to be cooked in the inside. But I'm going to put it in the oven for, you know what, about... 20 minutes because these are some thick steaks and it's four stacked on top of each other so I'm gonna put it in the oven at 350 degrees and I'm gonna put it in there for about 20 minutes that should be it so let me go ahead and get these in the oven guys I'll be back to show you the grand finale okay guys we are back for the grand finale and I just pulled out of the oven our steaks they look amazing 
they taste amazing because yes I did have some amazing look at those steaks oh my god all right let me uncover the lobster meat mm, 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 mm. I can leave y'all right there oh yeah those steaks are delicious nice nothing but that garlic taste we got our white rice back there nice white rice fluffy rice and we've got our lobster meat sauteed over there take it into that one more time back up oh yeah delicious bring y'all back over to those steaks mm, 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 mm. all right well you seen me do it so you know i did it this is arika misha thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe follow me on all my social media at arika misha that's instagram facebook and youtube of course this is arika mika bye